just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that? What's good YouTube, it's your girl Jay Lee and I'm back for another video In today's video, I'll be making my dog a DIY tufted headboard bed frame Or whatever you want to call it So I'm going to walk y'all by the process This is my first time doing this, so bear with me and I just can't wait to see the results. So let's get into this video and say hi to my nephew. I miss him so much, but yeah, let's get into it. Don't be looking at my feet, but first we're gonna start off. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the headboard. So we're gonna start off with the longer board. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna Okay, we're gonna take our Gorilla Glue adhesive spray. We're gonna spray all over this and we're gonna put down our foam or mattress topper and cover the whole board. And then we're gonna apply our batting. So let's get into that. Y'all forgot I was watching a YouTube video. Gotta turn that off. I need to cut this. So, I'm trying to see how much I need to cut. Okay, so we're gonna cut this and get the right measurement for it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it out. Oh Lord, I should have got some better scissors because these is ass. Okay, now that I don't know how much I need to cut, so I'm gonna finish cutting this. So I'm going to cut another part. I might not have to cut it. Yes, we got to cut it. Oh, so 
take our Gorilla Glue spray, spray the whole base, lay down each layer of this. You'll see. I don't want to set my carpet down. spray it again with the adhesive and we're going to lay the other side on it but we're going to lay the other side opposite so like this So next, what we're gonna do is, can you see me? We're gonna take our batting and lay it over top of it. Ooh, it shocked me. <laughs> Fog. <laughs> That's really stuck in my head. Oh my mama. No, no. Listen, oh, that's messing it up. Jeez. Hold on. Still cutting the um batting
fuck. This is not making it easy for me. Okay, so now that we got this cut it how we wanted it, we're gonna lay that over and we're gonna get our fabric and put that over it and then staple it where I want the uh, crystal diamonds to go. This project gonna take two days because I don't got the crystal diamonds, so those are gonna be last, but we're just gonna keep going. So I'm about to put the fabric, cut the fabric and put it over there. Y'all gonna see it, so let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so for the fabric, I got this. I got two of them, but I got 1.5 yard of crush velour fabric. Is the other one the same? Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, they both the same. So yeah, got two of these and I'm about to cut it and lay it over this that I just laid like that. So yeah. So now that it looks like this, I'm going to measure it every three inches and staple it where I want the buttons to go when I get the buttons. But yeah, this is how it's looking so far. So yeah, I'm about to get my measuring tape and my stapler. So we can do that part. So yeah, let's get into that. I'm going to leave about four inches from the bottom because uh, I want to be able to attach that to the bottom part. No, five inches. I'll do five. So just mark that. Okay, so now I'm going to measure every. So I'll put this little thing right here to mark it where I want the bottom to start at, like the part that I want to connect to the bed. But I'm about to do, I'm about to measure every three inches. Hold on. One second. Let me get this. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. So now that I got my measuring tape out, I'm going to just do three inches, four inches apart, three or four inches or five, whatever looks better. And I'm gonna mark everywhere that is so I'll know and then I'm gonna start stapling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far until I put the buttons on it. And when you're doing this, you gotta be very careful because the fabric will tear, but since I will be getting buttons, those will be covered up. But this is how the headboard part is looking so far. And I'm about to start the bottom. Okay, so for the bottom, I have this board and I'm gonna 
add these boards that I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, wow. I have four of these boards and I'm just going to add them to the side and cut the ends off one to add as well. And I'm going to show you how they look after this. So let me do that. I need to charge my drill, but this is dead. Just going to have to try to do this without it. Even though, like, I really do need it. Okay, now since I built the base, I'm going to spray the bottom with this Gorilla Spray Adhesive and put the batting on top of that. Then I'm going to put the fabric over that and staple it down. Let's get into it. So now that I put the fabric on it and I stapled around the edges to keep it together, we're going to secure the, the fabric that's on the sides put it all the way together and then i'll be right back so now that we got the bottom of the bed and the headboard i'm gonna go ahead and attach those and put her little mattress in there and then i'll be right back this is how the bed is looking for right now but i do got to get more fabric to cover up her little mattress and then get the little diamond the little crystals to go on the headboard and then i'm gonna put her name on the front and then it'll be done so that's gonna be done another day so that's it for right now so you guys this is the finished product you know the buttons are a little off but it still came out cute and i just put some of her toys in there i put her name on there twice and some little letters and so i can find some big ones but this is the finished product I just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say Cause